unraveling all over the shop a deep dive into English idioms. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase that might have puzzled you all over the shop. This idiom is not only vivid and colorful but also offers a glimpse into the versatility of the English language. So, whether you're an English language learner or just curious about idioms, you're in the right place. Let's dive in and discover what this phrase truly means and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. At first glance, all over the shop might conjure images of someone literally moving around a store. However, in English, this phrase takes on a metaphorical meaning. It's used to describe a situation, person, or thing that is disorganized, scattered, or in disarray. The shop, in this context, isn't just a physical retail space but represents any area or aspect of life where chaos reigns. The origins of all over the shop are somewhat murky, as is the case with many idioms. It likely stems from the chaotic nature of busy shops, where goods and people are scattered in every direction, creating a metaphor for disorder. Today, it's used in various contexts, from describing someone's scatterbrained thoughts to a messy room. For example, if your friend's house is unusually untidy, you might say, your books are all over the shop. Let's put all over the shop into action with some examples. 1. Personal organization. I can't find my keys. My thoughts are all over the shop today. 2. Project management. Our project plan was all over the shop until we decided to appoint a new team leader. 3. Sports commentary. The team's defense was all over the shop in the second half, allowing three goals. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to different scenarios, highlighting its flexibility and usefulness in emphasizing a lack of order or focus. All over the shop is more than just an idiom. It's a colorful way to describe chaos and disorganization in various aspects of life. Whether you're talking about personal experiences or commenting on broader situations, this phrase can add flavor and vividness to your language. We hope this exploration has helped you understand and appreciate the richness of English idioms. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to sprinkle your conversations with idioms like all over the shop to make your English more natural and expressive. See you in the next video. Remember, learning idioms is not only about memorizing their meanings but also about understanding the context in which they can be used. Happy learning!